Hey friends! <laughs> I am two months post-op full body masculinizing surgery. Just to recap, I had a chest revision from top surgery that was in 2012. I had liposuction on my hips, my abdomen and my thighs. I also had a mons resection that was kind of like a tummy tuck as well and I just wanted to talk to you about the progress that I've made. So I have had two rejected stitches I think. One has like opened up properly and one has just stretched up. I think maybe the underneath stitches opened up and then the top layer of skin stretched. I don't know fully but I messaged my surgeon and he said it looks like there's been a rejection of the stitches. Um, so I kind of have like two circles on each side that just look a bit stretched out. I also had an allergy to the tape that I put on. I don't know if it was, um, what's it called, micropore steri strips, or if it was silicon tape, but it really irritated my scars. I think it was too soon to put on, and I have really sensitive skin anyway, so my scars have just been quite angry since then. I think I put that on about two weeks ago, and they're still a bit red, so, um, that's been a bit frustrating. They also got really dry and kind of flaky when I took the tape off. So I've just been doing nothing to my scars recently and letting them just breathe and heal on their own. Also my lower scar, which goes from hip to hip, is doing really well. I think as my hair is growing in, there's some ingrown bits and there's been quite a few like breakout areas where my scar is, which have been a bit uncomfortable but it's nothing that I can't deal with. Um, and I think because there's such tight compression on that scar all the time, it's done really well with healing. In terms of scar tissue, I feel like my chest doesn't really have that much tightness or like firmness. When I had surgery initially, I had some really tight areas in my armpits and like, around the top bit of my chest, but that's like totally gone now. On my Mon scar, I have quite a lot of firm um, scar tissue that I'm trying to work through, but I sometimes forget to like massage it or um, it just is not going as easily. I'm not totally sure how to manage that. And I don't feel comfortable using bio oil just yet because of the opening areas that I've got on the spots. It's a lot less firm than when I had surgery initially, but it is still like, the scar doesn't really move that easily, you know? I stopped wearing compression on my legs and my chest probably around four to six weeks post-op, but I have been wearing compression religiously on my hips since surgery. I have this compression that just goes around my hips and it has some extra bits that you can tighten. And I feel more comfortable wearing that because when I don't wear it, the skin around my hips feels very sensitive and a bit loose. So I'm just wearing that for as long as I can. I think I'll maybe go three months. I've heard that the swelling can take three months to go down. So I just figured that I would just wear it the whole time. I still feel really swollen around my hips and I've taken some progress pictures over the weeks and I can really see that the swelling from month one to month two has been drastically different. I was really happy with my body at month one, but I'm even more happy with my results at month two and I'm excited to see how I will look at month three. Sometimes I get a bit nervous because my hips feel a bit bigger than what I would like but then I remember like they've gone down a lot since the first month and they're still a lot smaller than they were before and I can tell the difference in how I feel with clothes and they, my clothes don't cling to my hips as much anymore so I'm not as dysphoric about it and I feel really like confident when I take my shirt off and I just feel like I want to show it off. <laughs> I, I'm just feeling really good about that, but I know that there's, there's still some swelling to go down, so I need to be a bit careful. I also feel like there's quite a lot of swelling in my chest. I don't know how much of it is just fat and how much is swelling, but there's definitely, I think it's more so around the size. It feels a bit tighter, so I'm wondering if that's just swelling. I have started sleeping on my side and on my stomach, which sometimes feels a bit um, nerve-wracking and a bit 
like haphazard but if I get the positioning just right I can sleep quite comfortably. When I am lying on my stomach just straight out like a plank my lower scar feels a bit tight. It would kind of be like if you did a really intense ab workout and you stretched up you'd feel those muscles like tightening a bit although my muscles haven't been touched it's just the scar. It's just that sensation of tightness. I'm feeling really positive about everything and really confident with my results and I'm just really excited to see where things go in the future. I know I'm not really supposed to for as long as I can but I have been reaching up to grab things and I don't feel that tightness anymore so that feels reassuring I think but I do try and like use my step stool to like make sure my arm doesn't go too far above 90 degrees. Also I recently went to do some clothes shopping and that experience was so overwhelmingly positive. I've always struggled to go and buy clothes not just because of being a bigger person but because my proportions were so varied and different from what clothes stores offer. Even plus size clothes stores did not work with my body. I know there was nothing wrong with my body and it's not my body's fault that clothes didn't fit it the way that they promised to, but it was just nice to not have to worry about that. Usually I will try on 20 different things and I'd be lucky if one thing fit me because it would be really baggy on the top and really tight on my hips or uh, trousers wouldn't fit around my hips but they would be really baggy around the legs and it was just like I couldn't figure it out no matter what size I tried no matter what like brand or like body type they were meant to fit I just always resorted to joggers and a hoodie and sometimes I'd wear fancier things at home but I wouldn't leave the house because of how it felt on my body and it was just all of these things that just made me feel really insecure and sad, <laughs> to be honest. But this time I went out, I went to different charity shops. I didn't even try some things on. I just risked it, took it home and it fit. And I went shopping and I tried like 20 items on and I got to take like 10 to 15 home. And not because I didn't fit the other things, but because I just didn't want them. But most things fit. And it was just like, I just felt so, like this is what I had been hoping for for so long, even as a like really young teenager, just really struggling with my proportions and my body just never looked the way that I really wanted it to. And now I feel like it does. Most of my confidence has come from the fact that my hips have just gone down a lot. I do want to acknowledge that some of the confidence I have is stemming from internalized fat phobia and things I've internalized over time and the fact that a lot of insecurities don't just exist in a vacuum and we take in things from our environment and maybe if I had seen more people that had my body type I wouldn't have felt so insecure about my own. I just want to put it out there. I do feel like some of this surgery came from trying to fit into like what was conventionally attractive especially as my mons resection turned into a tummy tuck which i wasn't really um prepared for i guess or like expecting and they took out a lot more fat than i was anticipating which is fine i'm not mad about it but i do recognize that that has come from a place of not just gender dysphoria but also fat phobia as well. I want to fight against that, but I also don't think everyone has to constantly live their lives to fight that, if that makes sense. Because the reality is it's tiring, it's exhausting. Sometimes you just wanna feel nice and it to be easy. So I don't wanna contribute to reinforcing those standards, but I also would like to enjoy the fact that I really love my body right now. I'm really enjoying being stocky still and being chubby and being a bigger boy. I, I really feel like I have to like acknowledge this and talk about it a bit because I really am conscious about the impact it has on other people to see like 
happiness coming from a surgery like this and I part of me does feel really guilty about it but another part of me is like I am happy and I want to just sit in my happiness and my confidence. It took a lot to get here and a lot of people supported me to get here and I would like to enjoy the fruits of all of our labour. <laughs> I guess the bottom line is that body image is super complicated, super sensitive and nobody gets it right 100% of the time but I can acknowledge the two sides of wanting to be someone that just embraces their body as it was naturally intended to be but also feeling like wanting to be happy and confident and not have to fight so hard every day to show up as that person and show up as that confident person but yeah saying that i am still stocky chubby rough around the edges and i am really loving that so i hope that <laughs> says something I don't know, I'm open to hearing thoughts about this. Um, we can have a discussion about it. I will update again when my scars have healed and when I'm starting to use different remedies to lessen the visibility of my scars, but for now, I'm just letting them do their own thing. My movement's increased, my pain has decreased, my swelling has decreased, and my confidence has increased, so. All in all, as it stands right now, I would have surgery again tomorrow. Like, I would, I don't regret it at all. I think this surgery has been so transformative for me and other people can notice it, I can notice it. I just feel like it was so worth it. That's it. <laughs> if you found this video helpful or you like listening to my voice or things that I have to say, then please consider joining my Patreon. It's basically a membership where you get perks depending on your tier. So you can pay and get different rewards like podcasts or downloadable art or some behind the scenes stuff. I have a queer puzzle book and I upload a download of a page every single week. So if that interests you, then sign up. You can cancel at any time and the smallest amount you can give is one pound. So for less than a coffee, you can access so much content. That really helps me to keep YouTube going because my channel is demonetized so I don't make any money off these videos. Patreon is what I use to pay for my time and resources in this video. Also if you haven't seen my content before, I am an illustrator and I post a lot of stuff on Instagram which I will leave in the description. If this is the first video you've seen on this surgery and you want to see more, I'll link loads of videos in the description. Take care and I will speak to you soon. Bye!